Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis, the energy drink report. Well, surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good old energy crisis making a comeback. Comeback of the, of the day, I guess. Because it's Energy Crisis, the energy drink report. And we are here, and we are back. And, uh... Energy crisis. I know I've done I've done a lot of drink reviews lately, but not not an official formal energy drink review because that's where we are now. Trying out what we've what we started this channel off of good old good old energy drinks, and there's still plenty of them out there to be reviewed, and that's what we're doing now. So here we sit once again, uh, good old 3:36 a.m. So in the nice nice late night hours, but if you really want to be you want to be real official about it. You can say early morning hours. And we're trying out this drink. It's from V8. And I know it's not good to cast forth assumptions, but I'm going to do that anyways. Because I just I just do me, as the saying goes. Even just seeing that it's from V8 just makes me cast doubts on how this will even taste. And then given the fact that this is 33 cents, even, even cast forth more doubts that this is even going to be remotely good, but, you know, you can't, you can't do anything else until you try it. So we're trying out V8 V-Fusion Plus Energy in black cherry flavor. Black cherry flavor. Uh, let's see the nutritional stats and facts. Serving size is this one can, which I'm guessing is eight fluid ounces. Indeed it is. 50 calories per serving. Zero grams of fat. Zero. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. We're messing with you. Ten grams of sugar. <laughs> we, we were just messing with you there. We got you. Got you good. It's not like I, I, I misread it or anything. I wouldn't do that. Also has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B12 and B6. Um, caffeine content, it says, is 80, 80 milligrams. Eight, zero. All right. 80, which is, you know, rather weak for an energy drink, but I guess something's better than nothing, as the saying goes. Got some good text on the back, so I guess we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it now. 50% juice. Ingredients, water, reconstituted vegetable juice blend, water and concentrated juices of sweet potatoes, purple carrots, carrots, reconstituted fruit juice blend, water and concentrated and juices of apples, cherries, and such. And so forth. Caution. Not recommended for children, pregnant, or nursing women, or people sensitive to caffeine. Of which, which I'm neither. Neither of, of the above. Another little spiel to tell them, to tell you how good this is supposed to be. V8, V Fusion Energy Drink, is made from ingredients you know from, you know. And is powered by natural energy from green tea, so that you could finish what's important today. So whatever is important on your agenda, this is going to get you there. This is this is that special elixir that's going to get you there, no matter what, no matter what. Each eight fluid ounce can contains one combined serving of vegetables and fruit, an excellent source of B vitamins. An excellent source of vitamin C. And no added sugar. You know, except for the the 10 grams that are already in there. So, again, heck, go on a liquid diet and just drink V8 nonstop and, and you're good to go. In fact, it's probably better than, than drinking than, than eating solid food, according to this. You get to just drink this, this stuff and, and you get your fruits and vegetables, too. So anyways, on to, on to seeing how this tastes finally. Black cherry. Black cherry flavored beverage blend of five vegetable and fruit juices from concentrate with green tea extract and natural flavors. There's the black cherries and other, other products not even related to black cherries that are in this too. Because the, the carrots, the purple carrots are supposed to taste like black cherry. There we go. Pouring it out. This glass, I think, is well suited for this drink. I do. I do. I will admit. I think it's well suited for it. Kind of 
kind of fits it perfectly. And given the color of it, too, I'd say. It has a very deep red color. I'd say almost not quite cranberry in, in color. I'd say just a, a real deep dark red in color. A um, little bit of a blood red to it. it. Looks like a very fine wine that we're drinking. You know, uh, you know, fifteen thousand dollar dollar wine that we're drinking, but instead it's a thirty three cent V eight energy drink. And there it is. It's supposed to taste like black cherries. It smells a little bit like cherries, a little bit, not a strong odor, but see how the flavor is. Keep those fingers crossed, and you know. Can see the the anticipation on my face right now. So let's give it a shot. Going in, for black cherry V eight, ladies and gentlemen. That's a phone. That's a phone, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? Sometimes you see there's a phone behind me, and I guess it was, who knows, but anyways, so, on to the review here. I'm not gonna let that, that busy signal, busy signal get, get up, get me off my game. So what does it taste like exactly? Well, let's take one more sip of this. You know, it's one of those drinks that's middle of the road, honestly. Middle of the road. And that it's not awful, but it's not great either. The good news is that it tastes like black cherry. That's the one the one good thing. It tastes like black cherry. Okay. Great to know. The problem is actually the texture of the drink, and... Just something unfavorable, I, I, I feel, is about it. So it tastes like a black cherry, right? That's what it tastes like. It does. That's all there is to it, honestly. From the first sip, you're able to taste the black cherry flavor. Um, a stronger black cherry flavor. A little bit of a sweetness to it, and that's all there is. That's literally it. It's an incredibly simple flavor. You're able to get the black cherry, you're able to get a little bit of sweetness, and that's it. That, that's good. No problem there. You're able to, able, able to nail a very simple flavor. Problem is the texture. You know, it's an issue in this case that this drink is just too watery. And it may seem, well, it's, you know, why is that a problem? It tastes like black cherry. What's wrong with it? It tastes too watery in that, you know, some drinks have a little bit of a carbonation to it, just a little bit of almost a substance to it. This, on the other hand, tastes like you're drinking, you're drinking some water with a, ton, with a little bit of black cherry in it, and that's it. Just very, very watery. And you know, it's just something about that, that wateriness of it. That's just a little a little unsettling, um, honestly. The rest of the drinks, I mean, it's difficult to describe the texture of a liquid. You know, liquid. Oh, it's a liquid, you know? What of it? Well, again, just, just very watery, um, very almost runny, in a sense. And I mean, if you drink this, you'll be able to you'll be able to tell, and that's just a little unsettling. But the taste of it, taste of it's fine, and that's to my pleasant surprise, honestly, to my pleasant surprise that the taste is is okay. All right, on to price. We kind of talked about that earlier. Thirty three cents from Big Lots. You know, I mean, you can't beat the price. You can't. Thirty three cents. That's dirt cheap. Could really, you could literally bum around on the sidewalk long enough and you'll probably, probably find a, a quarter or something, you know, in between the cracks, find some pennies here and there, and you're good. You're good to go. You're set. You can buy yourself one of these and get your filling of vegetables for the day. That being said, out of 10, what are we going to rate this? Well, again, it tastes good or it tastes acceptable. It does taste okay. And the price is all right. The price is excellent. Just the texture can be that issue. So out of 10, I'm just going to be giving this just a 7.0 out of 10. 
a little bit below average just because of that texture. Because you gotta drink this, and when the texture is just off a little bit, that can lead to a little bit of unpleasantness. Otherwise, the flavor is okay, it's cheap, and if you just don't care, then fine, you know, you can go for it. But that's why it's got the rating that it's got, and that's all we got for you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report, and I apologize for whatever happened with the telephone there. I do apologize, and uh, that's all we got. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Report of the Week. More reviews to come. Probably Running on Empty is going to be next. That's all we got, and take care. We'll see you later, ladies and gentlemen. Energy crisis.